Hi, in this tutorial I want to show you how to do something like this. When I'm clicking the mouse, the player is going to the point where I was clicked. So let's go! Let's create a new project. It will be 2D. When I'm working in 2D, I like to change the sizes to 640 and 360. The test sizes will be the full HD. You can notice that the this sizes is a half of these sizes, so we will work on the half of the full HD. And let's create a character. First will be the scenes folder, and later will be the folder for characters. Now create a scene for the player. Let's call it player. And it will be a kinematic body 2D. It's a standard node for the collisions and for moving the player. If you want to use the inside physics of the Gadoo, you need to use the rigid body. Now let's add a sprite for the player. I prepared here a three simple sprites for it, for the moving down, the right and the up. And let's export it by to split sheet. Remember to split by tags if you're using, of course, the tags. I exported it to resources, sprites, and here you have the PNG player. You can just do the drag and drop. And when you are working with the pixel perfect, remember to do good defaults. You need to turn off the filter, do re-import, and save this as a default, so the next textures will be imported fine. Now we need to change the animation of this frame, so let's go to the scene, to the sprite, and in the animation section, let's increase vertical frames. So now we have the situation when you need to change the frame, and we have the different animation. So also do the reposition, pixel snap is turned on, and here we have the perfect Henry. Let's save this scene and create a new scene for the level 1. So, new folder, levels, and in this folder, let's create a, not a folder, but a scene, which will be the level one. And will be the just node 2D with the level one name. Now let's drag here the player, or the scene will be perfect. Let's and here we have the perfect scene. Let's turn on the project, but the, for the first let's create, a, let's set up a scene one as a main scene. And everything is working. Here we have the Henry, but the resizing of this project is not working correctly. So go to the project settings, go to the window, and we are on the window. Mode will be the 2D. And just keep the size and turn on the project and now it's everything working correctly let's start coding let's go to the player script attach a script it will be the player and in this script let's use the function physic process and get the mouse position from the viewport in the gadoo you have a x-axis from left to right, like you can see on the console, the x-axis is near 0 here and 64 here, like in the window details, and the y-axis is from top to the bottom. To better understanding, let's set the global position of the player to the mouse position. So let's global position is equal mouse position. And now we have the character near the mouse. But we don't need a situation when we are just teleporting the player to the mouse position, but instead moving this player. So the first thing what we need to add is a direction vector, which will be something like this. Here is a position player, and here is a mouse position, and we need this vector. To achieve this, we need to do new variable, action vector and it will be the mouse position minus global position let's print this and check if it's working and delay this print 
and it's still not working because I didn't comment this line. Let's do this one more time and it's working. And like you can see on the console, we have the plus X values and here we have the plus Y axis because in Gadoo it's uh, Y axis are from the top to the bottom. And let's also normalize it. We can do this by adding normalized function here. And now this vector will have length of one. So it will be much easier to do. When we have the vector, the direction vector length about one, it's very easy to do the speed of this vector because we need only multiply this by the vector that we will add as a speed ve vector. It will be the speed, it's a vector to 64 by 64, for example, it will be 64 pixels by second. The last function that we need to add to achieve this, it's a mouse move and slide and add here the direction vector multiply by speed. And doing this, we have the situation when the player is just following the mouse. And when he <laughs> reached the goal, he is acting like crazy. <laughs> Making a long story short, this function is a built-in function from the kinematic body 2D and it's used for the moving the kinematic body by the vector as a parameter one. This function is also have a lot of more parameters, but more about it, about the collision with the another kinematic body, I told on the, my another video, and probably when we go further with this tutorial, I will also tell more about it. So now we have the situation when the player is chasing the mouse, but let's update. So the player go to the point where I click the mouse. So the first thing that we need to do is to catch the mouse signal. So let's add an action game move. Later mouse button, left the button. And in the function input, which is a standard function for the getting the inputs from the player. So it, you can catch here the, all the inputs from the keyboard, from the mouse, and probably from the MIDI event, MIDI events. So if event is just pressed, let's do the game mouse and save the last position. So last mouse position will be the get view, get mouse position. And we need to store this variable like a variable of this class. So when we create this class, the last mouse position will be the null. And if we will click the mouse, it will be saved on this variable. So in our process function, let's do if last move, it will be not null. Let's do the same stuff as before. So let's calculate the direction vector, but now using the last mouse position and do the mouse and slide. So let's test it. And it's work perfectly. Instead of last moment when the Henry is acting like a crazy, probably maybe he is just happy. <laughs> I don't know. To stop this shaking for the player, let's use the length of this vector. So let's call, so don't normalize it here. Check the direction length. length. And if it will be less than three pixels, let's return and don't use the code below. And now let's normalize it here. Normalized. Probably it will be working. I'm not sure about the spelling. And let's 
test it and it's working correctly. The next thing that I want to show you is uh, deciding when the player is going top, down, right or left to tell the Gadoo which animation to use. To do it we need a little of algebra, so I prepared here an example how to decide when the player is going top. So when you have the algebra function x smaller than y, you have this area, and when you have the function x greater than minus y, you have this area, and when you connect these two lines, conditions, you have the this area. So, for example, when the player is going this direction, he will have the point somewhere here, or here, or here, or here, so we will decide this will be the top animation. The same as here, and here, and here. The good condition is all that you need. But take a note that the Gadoo is going in y-axis from top to bottom. So this will be like a mirror image. So making long story short, ta -da -da -da, this is the end result. So first thing to notice is the velocity variable. It's a return linear vector from this function. Like you can read, return the linear velocity vector, blah, blah, blah. It's a vector that the Gado used to move. We can use it and, and decide using these variables and this algorithm when he is going top, down, left or right. When we will decide that was not the top or not the down, we have only left and right. So the side left and right, we only to need to condition the x is greater than zero. So he is going right. Let's test it. And it's going right and it's going left, going top, going down. So next thing that we need to do is to add an animation for it. Let's go to our player scene, change the root node name, it's not necessary. Add a player animation, it's necessary. Let's add a few animation like move to top, maybe move top, next animation move bottom and move side and now let's fulfill them when he when the player is going bottom he needs this frame like you can remember when i'm changing this value the frame is changing when you will have the more complicated sheet that you will have more things to do Maybe that I will do in another video. So uh, let's add this frame to this animation. Let's change the animation to side. Let's add this frame to it. And let's go to the top. And that's probably everything that we need to do in animation player. Let's go to the script and change this value. So here will be the animation play move top here will be the animation move bottom and here will be animation move side let's test it and like you can see when he is going to bottom he has nice animation and here also and the last thing that we need to do is to make flip of the sprite. So let's do animation the player that will be the sprite. Maybe change the name of this sprite because it will be misunderstanding sometimes. So the sprite flip horizontal will be when velocity of x will be smaller than zero so when will be greater that will be false when will be smaller will be the true and the sprite will flip so let's test it and everything is working fine so thanks for watching 
have a nice day and see you on the next tutorial. Like if you like it, dislike if you didn't, and so on.